So what brought you then into government and ultimately leading the CDC, the Centers for Disease Control and Protection? You know, I, it's the, probably that empathy gene again. When I was through my training, I loved San Francisco General Hospital. It was the place where anybody in San Francisco could come for care and really good care. We had some of the finest doctors in the world there, not just the AIDS doctors, but across the board. I loved our patients in that hospital and I loved um, being able to interact with them on something more than just their disease because they're sort of the textbook of the social determinants of health. And yet most of the problems that these patients came in the door with were things that our public health system is designed to address and hopefully prevent. So when you're dealing with one patient at the bedside, it was kind of an easy transition to think about public health and a population of patients. So I originally went to CDC just on a leave of absence from the university for a limited time frame to take on the responsibility for a small division that focused on hospital infections and antimicrobial resistance. Um, so it was never intended to be a permanent career move. But when I got to the CDC, I really learned how you can have an incredible impact through public health interventions, through the science, through the guidance, through the policy inter interface. And uh, it just really made me feel like you could scale the difference that you wanna make in the world.